Today I'm going to show you how to create this logo intro animation in Canva. So first of all I'm going to open a new video presentation in Canva, video landscape. Now go to resize, custom size, click on the lock the aspect ratio button, under height we'll type in 3125, then click on the box here and say resize this design and again here. The next thing we're going to do is to change the background color to black and then we'll go to elements, under search go down to shapes, select circle, we'll create a circle similar in height to the canvas itself, we'll put that in the middle, click on the border style, click on the line, take it all the way up to 100 and here change the border color to white and the color to no color. Click on the three dots and duplicate the circle, make it a bit smaller and place it in the middle of the first circle. Now click on the border style and take it down to about 50, half what the first one was. Now go to elements, under search go to graphics, type in pair, we're going to choose this one, enlarge it slightly and place it in the middle of the logo. Then we'll change all of these four colors here to black. Click on edit, go to shadows, outline, change the outline color to white and change the thickness to be similar to the circle on the inside. Now we're going to save this so click on share, download, download as a PNG and put the size all the way up as high as it will go. Now we'll delete this first logo and upload the new one that we've just created. Now at this point we're going to step into PowerPoint. So here we have Canva on one side, PowerPoint on the other. Click on the PowerPoint, click Design, Customize, Format Background and change the colour of the background to green for this example. Then on the download, on the browser, we'll drag that across and upload to PowerPoint the image we've just created. Now with the image selected under picture format, go to colour, set transparent colour and click on the white. That will make the white go transparent. And then you can right click on this image, click copy, go back to Canva, right click and click paste. Now we can delete the first logo that we had and then increase the size of this new image to fit the frame. Now we'll go to elements and under graphics we'll type in colour splash, choose the one that you want. I'm going to go for this one. Increase the size slightly so that the colour splash crosses across the border and the pair. With the colour splash selected we'll click on animate, click on the B and then we'll move this splash around so it circles the logo and then we're going to bring it to the centre. Now we can increase the speed a little bit. Click done and click position, layers, put the colour splash behind the logo. Now we'll come down to the bottom here, click on the three dots and duplicate this page. Go on to the second page, click, go to position, put the colour splash back on top again, click animate with it selected, delete the path. Go off from the animation, centre the colour splash and increase its size so it covers the whole logo. Now click on position, put the colour splash behind the logo and between the two frames here click add transition and select match and move. Click share, download 
download as an MP4, and take the quality down to just HD in this case. Click on duration, follow the effect along, and when the color splash goes to the middle like this, then we can pull the length of this slide in a bit and that will give us a quick and smooth transition. And we can bring the end point in as well. Play all of that. Now we can download this by clicking share, download as an MP4. I'm going to keep it down to just 1080 at the moment. Now delete these two frames and upload the new video, resize it and now we're going to go to elements and under the search we'll go down to audio and we're searching for this Prel Logo Ascend 9 which you can type in the search and it will come up so we'll select that then we'll put that sound in down the bottom there and let's have a look at the final result. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful. Please do subscribe to the channel to learn more about Canva.